So here I am feeding a worm to lightning, the uh, leucistic male axolotl. I wanted to make sure that uh, he was well fed before I removed him from this 20 gallon tank and put him into a 10 gallon tank, uh, separated him from the female and from the eggs. I wanted to feed the female axolotl as well. Uh, she had seemed to lose some weight. The birthing process did take two full days uh, before she finished laying the last egg. So it did take about 48 hours of her laying eggs. So I was very concerned by the end of that. And uh, I gave her plenty of brine shrimp pellets and uh, in this worm here to uh, make sure that she got her health back as quickly as possible. I was concerned that maybe she was a little too young to be uh, laying eggs as I'm guessing she's about one year old and it's recommended that they're 18 months old before they start uh, um, before you start rearing axolotls. So anyhow uh, so I wanted to feed her a worm uh, just so that way uh, she could gain a little bit of weight and a little bit of strength. In hindsight, maybe the worm was not the best choice for uh, after birthing food, as uh, it does look like she's using quite a bit of energy to get this worm down. After she was finished eating, I put a partition in the center of the aquarium separating her from the embryos until I was ready to take the embryos and put them in their own separate housing. <laughs> 